guys, it's Nessa. So welcome to me trying all of my university clothes that I bought, which is too much. I bought too much clothes. And also accumulation of clothes that I got from my impulse shopping online sprees whenever I wanted to procrastinate from writing my essays, which is every single time. So I have quite a lot of clothes at university and I'm going to decide which ones I'm planning to take back home and which ones maybe I don't want to keep anymore. Most of the clothes that I bought here were clothes that I thought I wanted to wear. Let's get started. camera just taught me anything it is that it can get super cold and so although I am the type of person who will break the cold for the good fashion I did bring a lot of jumpers because most of the time that I spend in Cambridge is during the winter months and so these keep me cozy and happy now this jumper, I had a really difficult relationship with her because at first when I got it as a hand-me-down, I really didn't like this one but it grew on me, it did. I like how thick it is and how warm and comfortable it is so I wear it a lot now. And you can probably tell that I'm talking too slow because I have moved on to my monochromatic outfits. I love monochromatic tops and it just makes everything so coordinated effortlessly. <laughs> I think in university, it's important to be able to layer, so I bought a lot of smaller, thinner tops. I also tend to wear a lot of pink, if you haven't realized already. And here's a pink beret that I have never worn outside, but I am trying to wear more things that I wouldn't wear, so 2021 it is. Like having these very basic short tops in uni just because I can just throw them on and I wouldn't need to think about how to coordinate and by the way this outfit makes me feel like a tennis player even though I cannot do sports for my life I actually regret bringing this specific outfit to Cambridge because the top is a bit too uncomfortable to study for a long time in and the skirt quite difficult to match but the purple skirt here and the top I really do like, it makes me feel very fun and comfortable. Wearing yellow makes me really happy, it kind of makes me feel like the sun, so I, yeah, I think I'm trying to look for more yellow clothes. And yes, it was the grandpa, grandma style last year, and so I got my vests, my sweater vests. Except this one, I put it in the dry wash when I wasn't supposed to, so I will not be seeing that one again, bye! And this pink jumper I am also donating because I don't really wear it anymore, so yeah, I have outgrown some clothes. And I never thought I could outgrow any kind of pink clothing, so um, character development, maybe? Hmm. Does she think she is BTS? So now are some simple dresses. Actually, dresses are really easy to wear. It makes me look, think, and feel like I made an effort when I haven't actually, which is what we all need at university. This dress, I would probably fit like a hundred oranges in there and nobody would know, but it is quite comfortable. Unlike this cheap haul, which I wore once and never again. In Cambridge, we have a lot of those Harry Potter style dinners where we wear our gowns and wear cute dress, heels, and we have fun. And yeah, so I have a lot of small cute dresses which are less formal, but still formal enough for a formal dinner. But as you can tell, this gown, which is also my graduation gown, is really big, so it covers the dress anyway, so you can't even see anything. So it doesn't really matter what you wear inside, even if you wear these pajama tops. Here are also some of the coats that I bought. I actually bought more than this, and honestly, you do not need more than like two coats. I honestly don't know why I'm so extra. And that was my closet. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're staying safe. Take care, and I'm sending you love wherever you are. Bye!